if you say you are a child of God, you are accessible but unstoppable. No one can stop the time. You are under that time. And the sweeper second is moving to save God, to fulfill his mission and his purpose. The whole world can rise against you. They will access you, but they cannot stop you. When you become born again, or you say you are a living church, you are not depending on anyone here on earth. You are depending on God Almighty. Please take a seat. Thank you. Remember our message. Be accessible, but unstoppable. The reason is very simple. People are asking me these questions. Others are complaining. I am a child of God. Before I became born again, things were just, you know, just okay. Nothing, you know, like people, you know, fighting me, my business, when I was drinking, when I was doing, but things were just okay. But the time that I accepted Jesus, ah, everything is now stagnant. From the time that I paid my covenant contribution, but pastor, everything has gone down. Does it mean your covenant is the one that has made you to, to be broke? You need to understand this. You are accessible as a child of God, but you are unstoppable. Yes. It's Bible. There are so many things that will stand against you. Immediately, you choose to follow Jesus. You become the enemy of this world. Have you ever heard any country or any government that support the church? In Zambia, we had a ministry, religious and guidance. When you, you know they are representing the budget from the parliament, have you ever heard the minister talking about the church to receive funding? I'm talking to you, people of God. This is a reality. I want to bring you very close to this understanding. Religious and guidance was there. For who? For Zambia is a Christian what? Nation. But when it comes to support, there's no government here on earth that can support the work of God. Not even America. God sustain himself and sustain his church. It is not the fault of any government. No. It is the will of God that the church must be sustained by God himself. Including your believers. If God cannot, you know, use your life to do things inside the church, you become a beggar. The church will become what? A beggar. When you become born again, or you say you are a living church, you are not depending on anyone here on earth. You are depending on God Almighty to sustain you. People are asking me these questions, but why? 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 It's because of Christ. There are people who call you names. There are people who are fighting you. You are praying for people. Others are calling you a satanist. Others are saying, is this, is that? That is no more. But the only problem which is there, you need to understand that no one controls the time. No one controls what? Yes. No one controls the time. No matter how powerful you are as a human being, or you are a president, or you are what? You are America. You cannot control time. Time will keep on what? Moving. 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 Those who were young 20 years ago today, they are, they are now old enough. Because time is what? When you become rich 
and you are old, if it is possible, you can reverse the time to say, time, go back to 25. I want to enjoy my, my things. No one controls the time. God is time. God is what? It's time. You can be, you know what you want to be today. But time is learning. There is time for everything. And when I say that, I mean there's a time where you can feel that you are in charge. You are in control with your life. And then there's a time when you accept Jesus. Immediately you accept him. You fall under his time. Hmm. Let me, uh, 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 our viewers, please understand this. I know that you are there and you are listening to me. May the Lord God Almighty open, you know, your mind so that you understand this. Let me, I talked about Apostle Paul. But before I take you to that scripture, let me start with uh, chapter 16, Acts chapter 16. Verse 19. This is the man who was a state prosecutor. This is the man who was persecuting the church. This is the man who was a friend to the authority. This is the man who was part of the Pharisees. No one was against Paul. Paul was a man all over the town. They know him. The church where you know, is scared of this man. When you see Paul appeared where you are worshipping. Know for sure that something bad is next to me. Verse 19. Are you there? When our owner realized that their hope for making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace. To face the authority. The issue, the story is, is about the girl who was, you know, prophesying through the evil spirit. And this is the day that Paul delivered this sister. The same authority was working with, turned against him. Are you listening to me? If you say you are a child of God, you are accessible but unstoppable. No one can stop the time. This is the, the, the thing I want to draw. No one can stop what? The time. You are under that time. And the sweeper second is moving to save God, to fulfill his mission and his purpose. The whole world can rise against you. They will access you, but they cannot stop you. Am I communicating to your heart? I said the whole world will rise against you and fight you, and try to bring you down. But no one can stop you. No one can do what? Let's go so that you, 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 you get more of the insight. These are the people who are benefiting through this sister. Eating every day, making money every day using this sister. And the sister receive. Jesus. The Bible says that the owner realized that their hope for making money was gone. They seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authority. Let's go to 20. They brought them before the magistrate and said, these men are Jews and are throwing our city into an uproar. Meaning they have brought confusion. They are opposing everything. Now, understand this. Why not, you know, the people organize that this is Paul, who was a state prosecutor. But they say these men are Jews. They knew him before. Why now he become these men? Not Paul or so. Because he was not so who was a friend to the world. 
He became poor, a friend of Jesus. There you become the enemy of the world. The world will never love you as long as you live above its character and its conduct. They will hate you with a passion. They will never, never think about you as long as they are in the world. They will never see what you are doing as normal or support you. Even Satan now will start entering them so that they will, you know, they will fight you well, well. But no one can stop the time. If you are in that time, I mean God's time, you are moving to fulfill his purpose, no one can stop you. Whether you are walking slowly or you are fasting, no one can stop you. You will get there. They will keep on bringing issues. They will drag you to court. They will throw you in the prison. They can do anything as long as it is time. I mean, the God's time is moving. You cannot bribe time. You know that? You cannot bribe time. You can play all your games. You can persecute me. You can riot against me. They can do anything against you. But time is moving. Time is what? Taking you where? To fulfill the purpose of God. Until you become successful, his mission must be seen all over the world. That this is the man, this is the woman. We thought we would stop this one, but look at her or look at him. Because time is moving. Am I communicating to your heart? Paul was a friend of the world. A friend of the Pharisees. A man was all over to arrest and beat the believers. But the time came that he cannot control. Are you there? If you think you control time, you are deceiving yourself. If you think that you control the time, you are deceiving yourself. You can only control your feelings and your body. Time is moving. Time is what? Time. Slowly but sure. That is time. Time is what? Whether you put what, 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 time. No one can stop time. That is the nature of God. He controls time. God is time. His mission is time. Everything is time. Even if you say Mulenga, you will never succeed. Time will prove you wrong. Time will do what? Will prove you wrong. Listen to this. They drag this man to the magistrate and say these people have brought what? Confusion here. Listen to 21 now. Are you there? Please understand these people. My message is always simple and very short. But the power of God is behind this message. This is 21. By advocating customs and law for us, Romans, to accept, let me repeat my reading. By advocating customs that are law for us, Romans, to accept or placatis. Simply means these men have brought, you know, new laws apart from the one that we know. It's like they are opposing you, the authority. They are creating another structure within our customs by just delivering a sister who was in bondage for so many years. They became the enemy of the world. 22. The crowd joined in a, a, and take attack against Paul and Silas. And the magistrate ordered them to be stripped and beaten. Mm. <laughs> The magistrate now ordered that this man must be stripped off and be beaten. They started now beating apostles in the marketplace. Everyone was there watching. Beat and beat, beat and beat. Now, you are a Christian. Does it mean preaching the word of God, praying for people become a crime? No, it's not a crime. But why receiving beating? 
Because you are a friend of Jesus. If you say you are a child of God and you want everyone to be clapping for you, even Satan to clap for you, witches and wizards, to, they will hate you with a passion. They will never accept you to be a normal human being. Because you become the thorn now in their flesh. They will do whatever they could for you to be, you know, stopped. But time cannot be stopped by anyone. Time cannot be what? If it is possible for anyone to stop the time, in other countries that are powerful, ngatabwila no kuila. Ngabai karafe mukaswo kwa touch the develop with But time is God. And God is time. No one can stop the time. That is your life as a child of God. You are like time. No one can stop you. Milo, nipamande. If it is possible for you to say no, you can do that. But can you do that? If you cannot do that, simply means no one controls your time. No one controls where you are going. Because God is involved in your life. You are accessible but unstoppable. They can see you. They can, you know, drag you, take you somewhere. Tomorrow, they will release you. You start what? Moving. You are moving. You are a child of God. You fall under his time. You carry his mission. Listen to twentyfully. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison. And the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. Apostles, yeah, we're going to get mbasu nge buino kwa tiba kabwa lala. Eh, tabakwe tepo ne mfuti. He was commanded to handle them carefully. <clears throat> when he received these orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in the stone. You know nga balanda ti inner cell. That is spinner block. Mundia mwa kwa tina nkubu tuka te twitch station. No kuya kakila molu ya abo kuisa. Kumabwe. By just, you know, delivering a sister. Who was possessed. You are a child. Why are you complaining? No. Kupo na ambila fi oku pepa. If you into. Ababa di wa pumine. Ababa wa longa na mase ozi. But you say alech station. Ile enda. The sweeper second was busy moving, 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 moving. Listen to this now. About midnight, this is 25. Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Can you sing when you are in prison? Hmm? Please talk to me. Our viewers, talk to me. Can you sing? You are in the prison. By just praying for someone or helping someone in the name of Jesus. And now you are thrown in the prison. And apart from that, you are even, you know, chained with your legs. Now in the midnight, you start praising God. We are saying thank you, Jesus. In the night. like Can you sing? Can you sing any song? Can you sing at Narimite Mwelesa? What type of, of prayer can you offer in that condition? Be sincere. We are in the presence of God. Hmm? Just be, be sincere to yourself. Don't, don't you know, uh, try to be smart. What type of prayer can you offer? In that condition where you, you just prayed for someone and that person is delivered, now, because of that, what type of prayer can you offer? Hmm? Yes. Uh -huh. That's true. Fish na lufiania. Fish na lufiania. Temu ma chimbomsia. That is, you know, you complain a lot. People of God, you are accessible, 
but you are unstoppable. Satan can afflict you with anything. It doesn't mean that that's the end of you or they will stop you. No. They are just provoking God. When you give and you realize that things are not moving the way you used to know because, I mean, before you give, then you say, ah, ah, I think I'm going to go because I'm going to go to business that I'm going to win. You are defeated. You are what? You are defeated. You see God in a bad way. Paul and Silas were singing hymns, dancing, praising God. Listen to what happened. In the, we all know this. The way you treat the Bible and the way you know believers, apostles, children of God, who hear from God, they don't, you know, treat the Bible the way you treat them like history. No. That is life. And the other prisoners were listening to them. 26. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundation of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prisoners' doors were opened and everyone's chains came to lose. By just singing a song, appreciating the love of God, if you're a server, when you become born again, that's when you attract more persecutions. Those who are in the world will never accept you or love you. But if you don't understand the time that you are under, you start complaining. Let me connect you to 26, the same book, so that you know what I'm talking about. The same Acts. This is the book that I shared with you on Wednesday. Yes. Listen to what Jesus said to a Apostle Paul. Let me uh, start with verse 16. Now get up and stand on your feet. I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen and will see of me. 17. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I am sending you to them. 18. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness into light and from the power of Satan to God so that they may receive forgiveness of sin and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Now, listen to this. Jesus was preparing Paul to say, this is what you face. And uh, I'm sending you back to the same people, meaning the life that we are living before, persecuting the church, they will persecute you. They will fight you. But I'm sending you to them to go and open their eyes to turn them from Satan to God. From darkness to light. Look at the battle we are fighting every Sunday. When is the every day we are in the service? You see punches. Mrenga will kick you. Mrenga will do this. Sometimes you see, you know, they will grab your shirt. You are fighting darkness, not the human being who is, you know, grabbing your shirt. If you say, Mwelesa, God will look at us. Ah, does he understand? Who appeared to this man for him to go and pray for people? That is what you are, you know, you are, you, you are telling to say, no one, you, you did not appear to me. You did not send me. If you start confessing failure, when you face crisis as a child of God, you are telling that God, you did not, you know, appeared to me. If God appeared to you, he will prepare you. He will tell you the future. This is what you see. This is what you face. Your family will rise against you. Your brothers, your friends will start, you know, talking bad things about you. But I am with you. Sometimes, you are in the ministry. 
There are people who are there with you, supporting you, working with you, doing everything with you. It doesn't mean that one day they will not differ with you. They are going to differ with you. But the answer is what you saw before you became what you have become. The truth sustains the prophets and the apostles. It is not your feeling that can sustain you or the condition or the environment. It is the truth that you receive from him. He will tell you, I am sending you. They will rise against you. Jesus, before he came, he was taught, I'm sending you to the world. They are going to insult you. And you are going to die for my people. He was prepared for that one. And he knew that they will beat me, they will insult me, and kill me. This is why he did not complain to say, ah, I am coming back here, they are too much. The insult, this criminal Barnabas is released. I am innocent. They have accused me to say, no, you, you go to prison. Barnabas, who you know even murdered people. God, let me come back to He did not confess that. He was accessible, but unstoppable. All the kings, the elders, the chief priests gathered against Jesus to say, we need to stop this man. If we allow this man to continue like this, the whole entire world will rise against us. Go and stop him. Time is moving. Time is what? God himself is time. Anything from him cannot be stopped by anyone. Daniel, if you go and ask Daniel, go and ask Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They try to stop these three. Hebrew brothers, by, put, by throwing them in the furnace. Daniel was thrown where? In the den of the lion. What do you expect? Dead, of course. Did they manage to stop these people? No. Be accessible, but unstoppable. Remember where you are coming from. Remember what made you to say, I am a child of God. If you confess that you are a child of God without the power of God, you are a victim of this treatment. You can say anything today, but time will prove you wrong tomorrow. You can say you know what you are doing. You will become successful. You will succeed within your mind, but the reality will not be there. Did you make that money? You end up borrowing money again. Time will prove you wrong. Not until when you fall under is time. Everything. Every, they can beat you, insult you. Time is moving. Pushing you. Pushing you. Pushing you. They, they, they will carry you to, uh, I don't know, Chuempala. They will carry you to Ndola. Ndola, that's where you, you know you find the airport now to go outside. Time is what? Moving. So stop complaining. Time is what? Moving. I have never been to court. By helping a brother, I was taken to court. I don't even know how to start, you know, uh, answering the, the, the judge. I was just learning there. I said, okay. So here they said this. Okay. Then inside me. He said, no, just one word. You say two words, you stop. Don't you pros he say beyond, you know, three words. You mess up everything. I said, thank you. Inside me. The one who called me is there to counsel me, to guide me. Hmm? If you say, okay, if you my ambush, if you if you my ambush, look at this one. Who appeared to this man? How did he become what he has become? It looks like he's just guessing we are going to fix this one. Let God
God be the one to prove them wrong through his time. If your business is going down, you are a child of God. Doesn't mean that that's the end of you. No. God is the way maker. Even where it seems to be no way, he can still make a way for you. So stop complaining. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they refused to eat from the palace. They said, no, this vegetable is good for us. Because God was behind them. He prepared them that you face this from the hands of the king. They said, no, you, you need to come and eat from the palace. They said, no, 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 vegetable is good. Just leave us. They called them, okay, you refuse to bow down to this. They said, they said, your majesty, we are not going to bow down to this. Read the Bible in that book of Daniel, chapter 3, 16, 19, you'll find that story. They refused to accept the order from the king. They said, no, we only serve Jehovah God, Yahweh, the old one of the Israel, God of Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, we are not going to worship this demon you have put here. The king became annoyed. Because time was what? Moving for his children to become successful. For the sake of you, God can do anything. You'll be at peace. You feel good. You walk freely without fear. The problem is that we depend so much on numbers. No. We are not like politicians who are relying on numbers. Christians, child of God depends on God or might. Not numbers. Numbers can deceive you. Numbers can destroy you. Within the people that you trust, one of them will give you poison. But with God on your side, time is what? Moving. They will keep on doubting you to say, eh, tapari okovaleya, eh, what and what? They will lie, they will bring this story, they will bring time is what? By chambale lokulanda pa Saturday, by sanga pa Sunday valelanda, by sanga pa Monday valelanda, by sanga pa Tuesday valelanda, by sanga pa Wednesday valelanda, by sanga, time is what? Before they know it, you are there. They will start wondering now, how come? What happened? No, no, no. Me, I don't believe. You say what? You, 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 you say what? No, the, 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 the woman is already there. No. 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 You are defeated, Walede. You are what? Defeated. So be accessible but unstoppable. Let them say whatever. Jesus appeared to Saul and explained everything to him. He said, I will send you to your people and I'm going to rescue you. You are going back to them. You bring them, you know, from darkness to light. Why are you complaining? No, I'm going to pay for the school and that way. fasting, Wanguma. You want to sense in each of the Kumina? Yes, what for me? Forty days, forty nights, filled with the Holy Ghost, Satan followed him. He said, Look, if you are, the, you know, it turned this stone into what? Blood. He always capitalized on the condition that you find yourself. Jesus said, man shall not live by blood alone. The problem with you, you use your mind to answer Satan. That's a problem. Let the heart be the one to answer him. That is Holy Spirit in you. With Holy Spirit inside him, Satan followed him. No, whenever I pray, that's when you know things will become sour. So, man of God, I'm confused. Why are you, are you a child of God? Why are you provoking things that you cannot understand? Today, Jesus who appeared to Saul, who appeared to you, and prepare you 
so that you overcome all the challenges that are ahead of you. At the end of the day, you become successful. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. He appeared to him. But the point I want to take, no one controls time. This one. No one controls what? No. Just take this message. No one controls your time. No one controls your life. If you are a child of God, they can block you. They are holding your promotion somewhere. It's just a matter of time. When power, you know, move, they will release your promotion. That employment letter you have been crying for, transfer you have been crying for, fruit of the whom you have been crying for, Time is what? Time is what? For you to become pregnant, for you to be promoted, for you to be, you know, uh, to be, uh, uh, what? Uh, elevated. Anything from Jesus attract persecutions. But you must understand this, that you cannot answer the world with your mind. Because the world is more educated than you. You can only answer them by the power of the Holy Ghost. There you are going to defeat them. But if you try to answer them by the standard of this world, they are standing, you know, a, a better chance to defeat you on the other side. But spiritually, you are standing a better chance. Because time is what? Time is what? This is my message. Stop complaining. Be accessible, but unstoppable. Future or time will prove your enemy wrong. That business you are complaining about, that marriage you are complaining about, that thing you are complaining about, time is what? Remain in Jesus, and Jesus is behind you. He will see you through. That sickness that has been there. Time is what? Jesus is taking you to the place of restoration. You are going to recover. Whatever they have tempered in your life, his hand is there. His hand is there to sustain you. His hand is there to sustain you. Remember what I said earlier. Church, children of God, we are not depending on the world. We are depending on Jesus. Na HIV yali kwa tafanding. Na TB yali kwa tafanding. Church taya kwa tafanding. What are you learning? Hmm? The world support each other. Ni mwemu fuala ama t-shirt yali na ma shirt ya palana. Mule machinga. Na mse ndefu ya HIV. Why must you celebrate something killing you? You are even putting more money. Something which is taking your life. The world supports each other. You never see any country or any government to say, no, we'll start now funding the church unless if God, you know, minister to them. But as it is now, God sustains his people and his church. God bless you. Thank you.